Hello and welcome. This is our Laudato Si fifth anniversary prayer service with the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration. Today we join millions in prayer around the world taking part in the Laudato Si week. We have been invited to help celebrate the fifth anniversary of Laudato Si. ¿Qué tipo de mundo queremos dejar a quienes nos sucedan, a los niños que están creciendo? Motivado por esta pregunta, quisiera invitarlos a participar en la Semana Laudato Si, del 16 al 24 de mayo del 2020. Es una campaña global en ocasión del quinto aniversario de la carta encíclica Laudato Si, sobre el cuidado de la casa común. Renuevo mi llamado urgente a responder la crisis ecológica. El clamor de la tierra y el clamor de los pobres no dan para más. Cuidemos la creación donde nuestro buen Dios creador. Celebremos juntos la semana y las datos. Que Dios los bendiga. Y no se olviden de rezar por mí. We want to hear the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. We are marking the fifth anniversary of Laudato Si by prayer, by reflection, and by considering the needs of our common home and its people. We need to recognize it is our daily actions here that can impact our brothers and sisters there. We need to hear the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. Let us pray. O oh, Creator, our world is large, and yet your creation is so fragile. We glimpse the needs of our common home, of our sisters and brothers, and those needs are great. We want to turn away, but you call us back. We want simple solutions but you want us to help solve the complex problems. Through your church, you call us to listen, to learn, to reflect, and to act. Give us a deep sense of our place in, in this web of creation. Give us the wisdom of mind and generosity of heart to seek your will in the world today. Inspire us to respond to the call to live in solidarity with all of your creation so that the earth and all children of God might live in dignity and peace. Amen. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, alleluia. All burning sun with golden beam and silver moon with softer gleam, sing your praises. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O oh, rushing wind and breezes soft, O oh, clouds that ride the winds aloft, 
sing your praises, alleluia. O rising morn in praise rejoice, O nights of evening find a voice, sing your praises, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O flowing water, pure and clear, make music for your Lord to hear. Sing your praises, Alleluia. O fire so masterful and bright, providing us with warmth and light, sing your praises, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Dear Mother Earth, who day by day unfold rich blessings on our way, sing your praises, Alleluia. The flowers and fruits in you do grow, let them God's glory also show. Sing your praises. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when God made the heavens and the earth, there was still no wild bush on the, on the earth, nor had any wild plant sprung up, for God had not yet sent rain to the earth, and there was no human being to till the soil. Instead, a flow of water would well up from the ground and irrigate the soil. So God fashioned an earth creature out of the clay of the earth and blew into its nostrils the breath of life. And the earth creature became a living being. God planted a garden to the east in Eden, land of pleasure, and placed in the earth, placed it the earth creature that had been made. Then God caused every kind of tree enticing to look at and good to eat. And to spring from the soil. In the center of the garden was the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. A river flows through Eden to water the garden, after which it branches into four tributaries. The first stream is named Pishon or Spreader. It circles through Havilah, a land rich in gold, gold of the highest quality. There are air, aromatic resins there and precious onyx stones. The second stream is named Yian or Gusher, and it flows through the entire land of Cush. The third stream is the Tigris, which borders Assyria on the east. The fourth stream is the Euphrates. Then God took the earth creature and settled it in the Garden of Eden so that it might cultivate and care for the land. The Word of the Lord. Be doers of the Word and not hearers only deluding yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his own face in a mirror. He sees himself, then goes off and promptly forgets what he looked like. 
but the one who peers into the perfect law of freedom and perseveres and is not a hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, such a one shall be blessed in what he does. The Earth's climate is changing. Temperatures are rising, snow and rainfall patterns are shifting, and more extreme climate events, like heavy rainstorms and record high temperatures, are already happening. Many of these observed changes are linked to the rising levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, caused by human activities. The urgent challenge to protect our common home includes a concern to bring the whole human family together to seek su sustainable and integral development. Humanity still has the ability to work together in building our common home. Young people demand change. They wonder how anyone can claim to be building a better future without thinking of the environmental crisis and the sufferings of the excluded. I urgently appeal then for a new dialogue about how we are shaping the future of our planet. We need a conversation which includes everyone since the environmental challenge we are undergoing and its human roots concern and affect us all. And education and ecological responsibility is urgent. Responsibility for oneself, for others, and for the earth. Creyentes y no creyentes, estamos de acuerdo en que la tierra es una herencia común cuyos frutos deben beneficiar a todos. Sin embargo, ¿qué pasa en el mundo donde vivimos? La relación entre la pobreza y la fragilidad del planeta requiere otro modo de ejercer la economía y el progreso concibiendo un nuevo estilo de vida. Porque necesitamos una conversión que nos una a todos. Liberarnos de la esclavitud del consumismo. Y este mes te hago una petición especial que cuidemos de la creación recibida como un don que hay que cultivar y proteger para las generaciones futuras. Cuidar la casa común. Common prayer for the fifth anniversary of La Dato Si. Loving God creator of heaven and earth and all that is in them. You created us in your image and made us stewards of all your creation, of our common home. You blessed us with the sun, water, and bountiful land so that all might be nourished. Open our minds and touch our hearts so that we may attend to your gift of creation. Help us to be conscious that our common home belongs not only to us, but to all future generations and 
that it is our responsibility to preserve it. May we help each person secure the food and resources that they need. Be present to those in need in these trying times, especially the poorest and those most at risk of being left behind. Transform our fear, anxiety, and feelings of isolation into hope so that we may experience a true conversion of the heart. Help us to show creative solidarity in addressing the consequences of this global pandemic. Make us courageous to embrace the changes that are needed in search of the common good. Now more than ever, may we feel that we are all interconnected in our efforts to lift up the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the sun, the bringer of day. He carries the light of the Lord in his rays. The moon and the stars who light up the way unto your throne. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the wind that blows through the trees, the sea's mighty storms, the gentlest breeze. They blow where they will, they blow where they please, to please the Lord. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the rain that waters our fields and blesses our crops, so all the earth yields from death unto life, her mystery revealed springs forth in joy. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the fire who gives us his light, the warmth of the sun to brighten our night. He dances with joy, his spirit so bright, he sings of you. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the earth who makes life to grow, the creatures you made to let your life show, the flowers and trees to help us to know the heart of love. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. 